2004 Florida. Seven years prior to his murder, Guy Dalemans was attacked by an 11-foot and 385-pound alligator while picking weeds by a pond. The alligator hurt his leg, but he managed to escape the beast by punching the gator's snout. Move forward to April 6, 2011. Detectives arrive at a scene and are greeted by images of a scorched home with a dead man inside. What happened? Well, 30-year-old Brian Durfee and his girlfriend, 24-year-old Ashley Dunn, murdered 50-year-old Guy Dalemans, and Ashley was the shooter. Detectives determined the murder was motivated by a love triangle involving drugs and betrayal. Ashley also slept with Guy, who was also her boss. But Guy had been in trouble with the law and helped law enforcement by doing a recorded drug deal with Ashley's boyfriend, Brian. Then Brian and Ashley had the terrible idea of getting rid of the evidence against Brian by killing the state's witness. Let's listen to Ashley and see if what she says will help us understand how the cops figured out that she was the shooter. Because according to the state, Ashley shot him in the head, and then Brian attempted to cover up the murder by pouring gasoline all over the house and lighting it on fire. Evidence suggested that the fire finished the job the gun and gator could not finish. Find out what was said during their interrogation and the recorded talk with her father at the jail. Did her father also betray Ashley? And if so, was it the right move for justice? Or did he not know he was being recorded? This is uh, Detective Roger Dante's Orange County Sheriff's Office. Today's date is 7-13-2011. The time is 11.43 a.m. I'm here with Detective Dorothy Rivera at the uh, Lake County Jail. We're waiting for um, Ashley Lynn Dunn to be brought in an interview room. Uh, this is in reference to case number 2011 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I don't think it can shut off. I can close the door. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. They took my other ID. I didn't know which one was showing. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Hello, how are you doing? Good. I'm uh, Detective Dante's. I'm part of Detective Rivera for the uh, Orange County Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm here to uh, talk to you about the uh, the incident that happened over by Zillwood. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure. boss, yes. Right. And uh, so you know who I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, my boss. Okay, what's his name? Guy. Okay, all right. Um, since you're here at the jail, okay, obviously you were arrested this morning. Um, you know, you're under arrest, you're know, free to leave and all that, so um, I need to read you your rights, okay? Yes, I need to know, like, uh, why am I being, like, what ties you guys to me? Okay. Yeah. Well, let me, we'll, we'll talk about that. Let me just go through this process, okay? Let okay. me uh, read this, and once I'm done with this, we'll, uh, we'll talk, okay? Yeah. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning without charge. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one can be provided for you before questioning without charge. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? Has anyone promised me or no? No. Okay. Do you understand what I just read to you? Yeah. Okay. Do you wish to talk to me and my partner? Yeah. Okay. All right, going back to um, your boss, Guy Delmans, um, when you were arrested, what did they tell you about the charge? They just said I was arrested for first-degree murder. Okay. All right, and then that's what you're being charged with. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do want to, you know, hear your side and see what you have to say about it. Okay. Do you have an idea of when it happened? Uh... It wasn't like a couple months ago. I was at his house the day that it happened. Oh, okay. I had left his house at 7. We had worked all day. Left at 7. I had Louie, the taxi driver, come bring me home. He pay, or he, I think I paid for it. Mm -hmm. And got home around 7 and hung up my roommate till then. 
Okay. Um, for the rest of the night, Brian got home at 9, worked with Mr. Potter all day. He said, I was like, well, where are you? He said, Mr. Potter's, and that was it. That was, and then I got the phone call from my dad the next morning. Okay. So, I mean, do you, do you remember? I pulled over at this guy's house all the time. He, I had a great job. I mean, I could go to work and go make four or five hundred dollars a day until I found out how he was doing to get that stuff. But the fact is, that I that was my income. I mean, what person? I mean, I I, got, I go to that guy's house every day. I used to bring him up to during to get him drugs, and knowing that he was undercover undercover CI. Who does he uh, work for? Uh, come to find out, he works for Lake County and you guys. Okay, prior to the incident. He's the one who got my husband set up. Who, who's your husband? Well, not anymore, but well, his fiance, was Brian Durkee. Oh, okay, but you guys were never legally married no. or anything like that. Okay. Yes. Do you remember what the what day that was? The no. date and time? Okay. You, okay. It's April seventh, actually, is when it happened. Okay, so you were there that day? Yes, I was there. The, like, we worked that morning. We usually go, after we got work, we go to his house, chill, hang out, get fucked up, be honest with you, get fucked up, and yeah. I'd go home. Okay, can you take me back that day? Like, uh, what time did you get there on the 7th? Did you I don't know spend the night? No, or? no, 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 okay. never like that. I and mean, he had his obsession. I know his dad, I mean, I knew his family. This is how close I was to this guy. This is what is freaking me out about this. I would probably got, they were probably got off work around five, five, I wouldn't say it before that because I don't think I was there long because I knew this guy was obsessed with me and like, I kind of just wanted to get home, I got the money, get fucked up. Mm -hmm. Then if I wasn't letting my fiance know I was getting fucked up at the time, you know, we would get fucked up, we'd get high. Okay. Not and I don't okay. know what, what, what time did you, because uh, you said you work for the guy, right? You work for the guy. He's oh, first he used to get up at like a time we leave in the morning? Right. That day on the 7th, oh. what time did you guys go to work? Probably, I usually never woke up to after 10, so probably at half 10. Okay. Do you remember what work you guys did that no. day? Um, I want to say somewhere out on the lake shore. Okay. Sometimes. What type of work do you guys Sheet do? Sheet wall and clean lakes and stuff. Oh, okay. Like old docks and stuff? Yeah. Okay. And then do you remember what time you guys got back at his house? No. Probably sometime around 5. Like, okay. I wasn't there long. I know that. I never really stayed at home. Okay. So after 5, you said that's when you guys got fucked up? Yep. Okay. When you... I mean, I know exactly what you mean, but, you know, getting fucked up and stuff. But can you tell me, do you remember exactly what you guys were taking? Yeah, or Roxy's. Smoking, okay. No, Roxy's. we weren't smoking. I do Roxy's. I don't smoke or do anything else. Okay. Is there any other type of pills that you guys normally take or do that? Xanax. Okay. Were you guys taking Xanax and Roxy's that day? Um, yeah, I always take Xanax every day. Okay. How about the uh, guy? Um, yeah, he was taking them. He did anything I did. He was obsessed with me. Oh, okay. I mean, I have no, no shame in this. I don't... I, I just want to go home. I don't understand why I'm getting... Right, right. I mean... Well, and, and that's... Telling, that's my parents are like, just tell them everything we know, and I am. I'm not going down for somebody and, and, else's shit. I'm going to oh, tell yeah. you all that right fucking now. I'm not going out. If somebody else fucking did it, I'm going to let you know. I don't care. I'm a snitch. I'm not going to jail for somebody else's shit. To be honest with you, I really think Brian, my husband, did it because therapy or guy was got me set up for fucking selling pills. That's my idea. That I told him when he got home. I was like, where the fuck were you? When my dad got the phone call, I read him off the next day. Where were you that fucking night? That's my honest truth. I'm not going to prison for nobody else. I'm serious. When well, guy got him set up, we watched the tape, we put elevators on, we watched guy set him up, watch him fucking, because he stole pills, watch guy with the camera, go and set him up, he was in a 10 years fucking prison. Okay. Well, going back that, that, uh, that night on the 7th, you said, you know, you guys were, you know, taking Roxy's and Xanax and all that. Um, did somebody, did you guys buy it from Brian or you? I've had him. Guy usually gets them from somebody, like he'll have them. Well, sometimes I get them from Tangerine. Okay, but that day you remember you I already had them. them, I already had had them. The Roxy's and Sam. And he had his own, yeah. He gets them sometimes from his people, and I just show up at work. And, like, I do them on a daily basis. Like, if I don't have them, like, being in here, I'm gonna be sick. Right, right. So, right. No, knowing that 
I need them every day. He would make sure I had them every day. Okay. And I would work for five, but, six hours. But that, okay. But that particular day, you brought the Roxy's and the Zenox? No. That particular day, we all had our own. Okay, so you had your own. Oh, he had his own. Okay, all right. And uh, what exactly did he have? Do you know? Oh, the Roxy's and Zenox. We brought the table. Okay. Right, and um, um, you said that uh, you laughed around what time? It was about seven, seven ten. Okay. What I call the Louis taxi driver. You could call him up. Louis. Okay. Yeah, Louis. Do you remember what kind of car? It's a van. It's a van? Yeah. Okay. What color is the van? I don't know. It was nighttime. Okay. It was still dark. It was dark out. But you know for a fact that it's Louis? Yeah. How do you know that it's Louis? Because it was Louis? guys' friend. Oh, okay. Do you know each other? Yeah. Okay. Did you call Louis or he called Louis or how did you? Um, I think he called Louis on his phone. Okay. Yeah. Guy called Louis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, around seven, you said? Yeah. Okay. And where did you go from the jail? Okay. Who and was Robert Bly? He's in this jail right now. We just had to turn himself in for something, and he's in this jail right now. Robert Bly was my roommate, and he was home when I got there. Where's uh, Where's home? Uh, at that time, time six nine one nine eight Plymouth Toronto Road. Six nine one nine eight eight Plymouth Toronto Road. And that's where you went? Yes. Robert Bly was your roommate? Mm -hmm. B-L-Y-E? B-L-Y. 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 Is he a uh, white male? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you, you were saying something about your fiancé, about he was the one that, that did it? I mean, how do you know that? I don't know that he did it, but okay. come on, the man was pissed off every day about this guy setting him up. He was in that 10 years prison. On the, um, on the pill charge. This guy, Donovan, set him up. Okay, do you know who was working that case? No. Like, what agency? What do you mean? Like, who arrested him? Lake County did, because they had to walk to my house. Lake County did? So I'm on the border at that point. I was on the border of Orange County and Lake County. Okay. And Lake County had to walk to my house. All right. Okay. Walked. But did he, Brian, did he, you know, like, specifically... Say? Say no. that, um... He okay, said he was so. just at Mr. Potter's house, but... Well, no, again, what ties me to this? Well... We have, we have, what? Did somebody we have, tell you we have, that I we have, in and listen, this? listen, listen to me, okay, listen to me. For us to do a warrant, okay, for us to do a warrant, there has to be a probable cause to make the arrest or to, to do That's the what I'm asking. That's okay. what I'm asking the lady. Right. I'm like, the probable cause is what? Okay. And, and a judge signed it. So, you know, that's why you're here. Okay. Brian is already under arrest. Yeah, I know. I for to the his same mom. thing. Yeah, I talked to his mom. Okay, for the same thing. All right. We already talked to him. Okay. Last night, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Okay. He already gave his side of the story. Okay. We're not going to argue the fact whether, you know, you were there, he was there, or whatnot. Okay. We know that both of you were there, even though you left, at, so you said, at 7 p.m. You know. Okay, yes. Because of Brian. Well, and then some. And then some. Right, we got your DNA. Oh, yeah, because I used to be at the house, right? You got it at the house? Yeah. On what? We got it on evidence. On evidence. And there was also eyewitnesses. And there's those eyewitnesses. Eyewitnesses. Now, if you guys got my, there's gonna be clothes. There's gonna be handy with the blood in that house. There's gonna be look, all Ashley. Yeah. Look, I don't think this was your idea. I believe it was Brian's idea. Okay. We wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. I think that he may have talked you into something that you really didn't want to do, but you went along with it. I understand that, like you said, if you stop taking drugs, you go through withdrawal. We have enough here to put you in jail. And based on the evidence that we have, they possibly might even ask for the death penalty because it was, because it was planned. 
And we know that for a fact. Otherwise, we would not be here. Like he said, we spoke to Brian last night. And I can tell you right now, he don't give a shit about you. Mm -hmm. I know. He walked away from you. And the only reason why he started skulking back is because he thought this was coming down. Now, the reason why it took us so long to get here is because we had to build our case. Okay? Okay. So you can either help yourself or you can leave it the way it is and you can go right down with them. I'm not going down with them because I don't do shit. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, tell us what happened. I mean, you were there. I'm not. There's... Well, you already know what happened. So I was there. Okay, well, you guys got a case. We already know, but see, the reason why we're, we already know the answers to these questions. We're seeing if you're going to help yourself, if you're going to lie. Yeah, but if, if I was there, and I go on the show, yeah, Brian was there, and I was there, no matter what, I'm still getting fucked because I was there. Were you afraid? Were you afraid? Did he make you do something? Were you afraid? Yeah. Were you afraid of him? Yeah. Okay. It's still, still going to be fucked. I'm still going to jail. You don't know that? Yes, I do. No what. Well, there's, there's no, there's no change in it. Okay, what's done is done. Okay. Um, I mean, you know, now it's just a matter of, you know, your, your side of the story, basically. All right. Because it seemed like this guy, it kind of, you know, kind of manipulated you in a way, you know, Brian to. <laughs> Let you agree with this thing. I left that house at 7 o'clock. We know that you did, but okay. you went back. You think so? Yeah, I know so for a fact. That's why we're sitting here. But the, yeah, but you, guys, you guys are interrogators. You guys stand That is why we're scared. Of shit out of I'm not scaring you. What do you think? We got a judge to sign a warrant to put okay. you here. I understand that. Okay. How do you think we got here? People talk. You're going like People talk. Back. No, we have actual factual evidence. But we have the same stuff that the court. I have many stuff there. I used to sleep there. I used to I'm have stuff that you lit the house on fire with. Who, who set out the house on fire? Who who lit it on fire? I don't know. Yes, you do. I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't. I left that stuff. You know what? You I'm are sorry. so. You have no idea how much trouble you're in right now. You you really don't, and you're trying to protect somebody who doesn't want to protect you, he is going to save himself and he's going to throw you under the fucking bus. Okay? People do shit because other people make them to do stuff. He, don't you think, well, you know what? Life or death. You want to die in an electric chair? Or you want to... I want to go home. That's not happening. All right, then. There's no bond here either. It's a no bond status. Either way, I'm still going to be stuck. Either way, I'm still going to go to prison. Either way, I'm still going to do life because I was there. You think you guys said. So if you guys know you were down there, there and you know, I can tell you a million times that I wasn't there, but if you guys got that, they got some of them, don't fucking matter. You guys can sit here and just say, yeah, we got evidence you was there. And even if you fucking don't, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Well, the thing is, is that we all can fucking do that shit. And I'm saying that you particularly yourself are going to do it, and I'm particularly saying you yourself are going to fucking do it, but y'all can do that shit. But okay? you have to understand. Now, I got to understand one thing, is that either I'm going to lie and give in this motherfucker so he goes, and I'm still going to be a session of the crime, because this is what you guys are saying. We know you over there. That. I'm fucked. No matter what. Either way. He can say it was all your idea. No shit, I can go and let Ryan go. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not going out. For He's not going anywhere because we have enough evidence to hold them to. This will go to court. It will not be. I know you said that your DNA is all over that house. Would you? Uh, would you give us consent to get your DNA? Provide your DNA. Why? It's a question. What would that do for me? Well, it will, you know, confirm. What you were saying, and you said that you know your DNA is all over the house, right? Yes. Okay. Look, we can't I'm offer you really pulling the drawers, the needles in there from shooting up Rossi's. Mm -hmm. We can't offer you anything. What this is showing us is that you're uncooperative. It'll show the state you're uncooperative, and that you're just as as bad as he is. That you have no conscience, period, at all. And people look at that stuff. 
No, that's not what they have a conscience. They have a I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that's what it looks like. People get into stuff that they don't know how to get out of. We are giving you an opportunity to tell us your side of the story. What is going to happen? It's a lie. Do, do you, you want to stick to that lie? No, that's not a lie. Yeah, you were there and you did leave. No, that's that for a fact. Everything else after that is a lie. I never told you anything after that. Though. Exactly, because you said you were at home and it was Robert Bly you were with and he's your alibi. That's what you told us. Do you remember saying that? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we well. know for a fact. No, he can't. Why? Because I know exactly where you were. No, because you won't even get the time of day to even go ask me. No, I get that much. Actually, she said that's she why we're here. You have to understand this is not a drug charge. Okay, you can go up to any judge and be like, look. No, you can't. Because they have to take responsibility. We found the shirt and seen the crowd and the trash ash down there. We need a warrant to go arrest this girl. You are. This isn't fucking TV. No, oh, it's not fucking saying it's TV. It's, just it's not TV. Dirty cop shit. Just simple fucking how easy it oh, is. Oh, so we're dirty now. No. Okay. Did I say what did I say? No, no dirty not cop you. shit. You, who said it was you guys that even Ashley, got the evidence? Ashley, it was do, just... you, do you think that, you know, your boss deserved to die like that? No, definitely not. Oh, Does that mean I deserve to lose my fucking job? No. Lose my house? No. I don't. So why did it happen? You tell me. Why do you think I said it, think it happened? You were there. I know you can tell me. No, the only thing I can tell you is that I think Ryan Durkin did it. The only thing I can tell you. Okay, but you can't even you can't even tell me why. You said Because you... I didn't tell you why. I said because Guy Dominus was going to set him up for ten fucking first time on pills. That's why. I didn't tell you. Okay. That's why I think he did it. After after the the incident, okay, were you with him after the incident with Brian? No, were you guys still together? Were you, you know, After we died? Mm-hmm. Yeah. After the boss died? Yeah, we were still together. We wouldn't talk to my family together. We were all about okay. it. All right. Well, did he say anything to you at that point? Mm-hmm. He just kept saying it was fucking nuts. He never said it. He never said that, you know, yeah, I did it or anything like No. That. Why would he? If he didn't get two fucking shits about me and just walked the fuck out. And the only reason why he talked is because he thought this shit would happen. So why the fuck would he tell me shit? If he didn't plan on being with me in the first place. He got you to do what he wanted you to do. What the fuck? What, what the fuck did I, what, what, me being there? What does that mean? What, what is that giving him any pleasure? How did he die? Um, burn to death. Right? You burned to death? That's, is it? it? That's, well, the house was on fire. This was what the news said. Mm-hmm. He burned to death. Now, if you are so answer me this, answer me this. If she just said Um He got me to do what he wanted me to do. How by me being there does that benefit him? Doesn't dirty his hands. How does that not dirty his hands? Because I'm pointing it right at you. Because, okay, if he's not some case, why haven't he done that? And why haven't you guys just said, you know, fuck it, you got charged. You're, you're here, you're Brian pointing all the fingers on you, but he's still sitting in jail right now. So he, he must have not done that. So well, obviously well, he doesn't want just, to do that. Just, like just that. because, just because he said that, you know, yeah, Ashley did it, Ashley did that. It doesn't change the fact that, you know, that both of you have war. Okay. Or, or just because you said, you know, yeah, Brian did it all, Brian did this, you know, we, we doesn't mean it's gonna let me. You know. So that's what I'm saying. So her saying, but, 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 but we do, Sorry, you know, but you gotta remember that there's always two sides of the story. Yeah, okay? and you're gonna believe either one of them. Well, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm gonna believe everything that, you know, you're gonna tell me, and I don't, you know, I'm not saying that I believe whatever he told me last night, okay? I was not there, number one. Okay, I never witnessed any of it. Okay, so I'm, we're just going by your story and his story, and the evidence. Okay, there. and then the evidence. Okay, I I can tell you that we have probable cause to arrest both of you. Okay, because we put both of you there. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is this is one of those you know opportunity that you know hey. If you if you wanna if you wanna say your side of the story because it seems like it's all his idea, okay? I um, know I know. I know. It's, it's all his idea. Let, let me, some, let, 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 let let me, and, and I understand that, okay? Because because he's got a motive because of that drug case, and I'm aware about that drug case. 
okay? And that's why we're here. Okay, if we didn't care about you... Huh, I wasn't even you, supposed to be picked up yet as for the Orange County because Orange County already said we weren't even supposed to come get after you like that, but Lake County took over. Who told you that? It don't matter. It's, it. it's just the fact that that's what I was told. And if, if that was the case, then I'll come yesterday when I got a call from the sheriff's office to come pick up the dog. Why would you arrest Brian for that cause and not me and just arrest me later? I don't even know what the hell you're talking yeah. about. Well, Ryan got arrested yesterday. Why don't we both get arrested at the same time? I was not there, so I don't know what happened during the arrest, okay? I did talk to Brian, so That's I That's my can't. case. Um, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it at. I guess I'll be sitting in jail for a while waiting to see what happens, you know? All right, let me go back to the Well, it's a damn shame because... <laughs> A stupid man. Think about it. If you change your mind, call us. Just don't lock it. You know, don't get stuck here. Concludes the, uh, the interview. The time is uh, 12:09 p.m. This is Detective Roderick Dante from Orange County Sheriff's Office, along with Detective Dorothy Rivera. We're here at the Lake County Jail in Lake County, Florida. Uh, today's date is 7/13/2011. The time is 7:15 p.m. Um, here with us is uh, Christopher Dunn, and this is going to be a meeting with between Christopher Dunn and Ashley Dunn. And it's going to be in reference to case number 11-29191. No, I called up and they said the only reason why they would is because uh, you're being extradited. You know, I didn't really on any charges in that because I've been on the uh, waiting list. I've been sitting there all afternoon waiting to have you call back. They said I'll get in charge of it. Yeah, but as far as this place, you're only, the way everything comes up is that you're uh, in on transportation charges on a different area. That's all it reads. And I... I talked to them today. I said, uh, "How long is she going to be there?" They don't. They don't know how long you're here because they have to wait until they can get it through their, um, however the court system goes. They have their people have to be able to file the paperwork to get you through. And yeah, you Ashley, they said that they have. Uh, Witnesses of you and Brian leaving the house. They they said they've got uh, people that actually saw you guys running from the house. 
They don't. That's the thing. I mean, that I'm making it and I put it back there. I'm like, I stayed home. I'm like, this is all I can tell you is that I got there. I was there at 7. Or I was there before 7 and I left. I was like, they think I went back. I didn't go back. So like, we've got fucking DNA. I'm like, I, you, you fucking probably do. I used to fucking hang out there every fucking day. And like, I'm just telling you what they told me. They said that... They're, the people that lived around there, they said that um, they saw people running from the house, okay? They picked out, supposedly, you and Brian out of pictures because they said it was a male and female, so they put up pictures. They picked you and Brian out of it is what they're saying. They, um, and it was within minutes of the fire breaking out. This is what they're, they're telling me. And, you know, I'm a fucking nervous wreck, Ash, you know? I don't know what the hell is going on. I really didn't fucking do this. And one of your other biggest problems is they wouldn't come out and say it. Brian, uh, Brian gave a statement already. Yeah. He's, point, he's pointing. They won't come right out and say it, but basically they said they're telling me that um, he's very cold and he uh, had no problem throwing someone under the bus for it. You know, and it's like I'm going away for a long time. There's nothing I can do but wait for this court appearance and just hope to God that they don't charge me. That's pretty much all I can do. Well, this first court appearance isn't anything. It's just to move you from here to there. There's not going to be court for that. Well, they they have to be. Tomorrow, I'll have first appearance, and that's right. what I'm going to charge with. Right, but then you have to go. There's some sort of a process they have to for the extradition. Um, because Lake County has you. I guess whoever picked up Brian was able to bring Brian right to Orange County. And that's what they had said this morning, I guess, was that they had the marshals out looking to pick you guys up, and that's who ended up talking to you the day before on the phone when they were trying to get you down to get the dog. Yeah, I knew that was a setup. Yeah, well, they didn't come out and say that, but that's, that's what it seems like. like a fucking dog, for real? When they came to the house this morning, they didn't they didn't say anything about having Brian. They said that uh, there was a, a, what they told me was, is that they wanted you for questioning. There was a capital warrant, capital murder warrant out for Brian. They needed to get to you um, because they know that somewhere in there you had information or you had, uh, they needed to talk to you on That's what they were telling me. And I was like, what the f I woke up while well, your mother's screaming at 7.30 this morning because people were running through the yard or somewhere around there. I don't know exactly what time it was. I had just fallen asleep. And I get up and go to the front door. And I really it was, wish you would have told them where I stayed at so I could at least got some money out of the bank and turn myself in with money. Because now I'm going to be fucked with nothing. Why are you going to be fucked I with I have no money. All my money's in the bank. I have 350 bucks in the bank. I was going to get that this morning. None of you all are going to help me. Okay. You guys didn't last time. I'm only going by when I... And you know, why, you know why I didn't help you last time? You want to know the honest truth? Because it pissed me off that you turned around and took uh, a week before you went in here and then came and walked through the door with absolutely nothing. What was the week for? It, to get everything set up so you could be all set to turn yourself in. Yeah, Brian was supposed to give me the money. I wasn't working then. It was supposed to be Brian helping me out. Well, I understand that, Ash, but it always keeps going. You know, you're sitting there doing things, and then it always goes back, you know, hey, well, this didn't happen because of this person or that person, you know? And it's, you know, I actually, I have sat there. I have nothing to help me out, and the only thing I'm going on right now is by the Lord himself to know that I didn't do this. That's all I'm going on, by knowing that I didn't do it. And I told the cops straight up, I was like, I'm fucked enough as it is. Y'all yeah, think I did it? I was like, so me sitting here telling you guys I didn't do it, doesn't matter. I'm already fucked. Well, that, that was a big thing is that you never, you know, they said when they walked in to talk to you that you it sounded like you wanted to talk to them. And then as time went on, it was more, you know, to see what you could, you know, find out that they had. And then you just kind of dummied up. And they, you know, they were kind of shooken because, um, they said after talking to Brian, they figured that, you know, they'd at least hear something out of you, hear something on, on your side. Back and forth, he did it, I did it, shit. If Brian's saying I fucking did it, if Brian's saying I fucking did it, then. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not saying, it. they didn't come out and say that. 
That's really that's what I. I really that's, don't believe he is. No. I really believe it's just good cop, bad cop, fucking shaking up, fucking yeah. look. He's all against you, bullshit. I I don't I don't have any faith in Brian. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. And I don't because you know just how I've seen him act. I I don't. You know. I don't think and, Brian did this. I'll be honest with you. I really can't say for the fact that Brian was gone, but I really don't think Brian did this. I don't well, think he yeah. has something to do with it, but I don't think he's the one who did it. So. You know what fucks me up with it is because the first thing you said to me this morning was it was him. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and it's, then it's like. It, but I mean, no, it, was, it wasn't me. That's all I had to say. Was going for. Oh, I want all these cops to know what my side of the story was. I wasn't sitting here telling them Brian's side of the story. It was my fucking side of the story. You didn't tell them anything, now. I, I mean, you exactly didn't. where I was. They asked me where I was on the April seventh of that time. I told them I was at home. That's pretty much all I can say because that's pretty much the fucking truth. And uh, you have a roommate there. Nobody there to see you. What do you mean? Was your roommate home? Yes. And, and he'll sit there and say that yes. you were there all night. You never yes. left again. Yeah. And he was up and everything else. Yep. Yeah. I even gave him his name. Their name. He's in jail right now for something. But I said he's in the scout right now. Go get him. So I turned himself in yesterday. What the hell is he in for? Oh, I don't know. Some driving thing. Or I can't believe they didn't make you take that off. It's just, yeah. You can send that to maybe talk. No. Why are you good to talk to me? Why? Because I've been sitting here waiting all afternoon for you to call back from the time I've talked to them because I wanted to know what the hell was going on. I've been up all fucking day. I, I've got about two and a half hours sleep since all of this has gone on. And then um, well, they just I call. The murderers, the, the dad come in and talk to them? No. Well, I, I mean, they didn't say anything about that. They just said because you were being extradited. There's not really a charge on you here. You're under holding. That's all they said. They, I called up to see because under my impression was there's always a few days that it takes. You have to put the names in the whole nine yards. And uh, I called up. I said, how many days is it for me to get in? They asked me who you were and everything else. I told them. The fucking murder there. Everybody, cops won't even look at me. They fucking won't even walk, walk alone with me. The guy calls like, I'm not walking alone with you. I'm like, get out of here, man. I'm fucking, I get caught here and they have like 10 fucking cops out there ready to get me. The cops like, she's like five feet. They had like, 10 cops where? Out there to get me, pull me in here. They had like 16 cops out there at the house. They had, well, I, I left there, there was two. Oh, yeah. I left there, there was about eight cop cars. Oh, there was two, and they were walking into the driveway when I pulled out, and I was like... They probably called me. Really well, there was, I mean, there was a ton. And I would have turned myself in, I just didn't want to go in like that. I really didn't. Well, you know, Ash, I don't know what to think half the time. I don't know what's what and, and what's going on, you know. I, believe me, I want to, you know... I want to sit there and just get this over and done with. I want to see you be able to get out. Uh, uh, Y'all better just forget about it. I'm still telling you. Why? Because there is no, nothing. I want to go to court. Well, anyway, we're looking at a good year before anything ever happens. Before I ever go to trial. Before I get all my witnesses out there to show show that I was there. For anything to prove that I wasn't doing anything. So I'm going to be stuck in a worse county that long. Uh, You know, it's like I said to you before. You know, I never could believe that, you know, it's like even when Brian came to the house that day, you know, you could tell that he knew something, you know, and I was, uh, that was my biggest fear is that somebody knew something that was going on. You, you had, I don't know. I, I, I didn't, I didn't like the fact that you were sitting there telling me the whole time that, oh, you're the only one I've ever talked to. And it just how he was acting, and listening to you, I mean, you were too openly, even in that house, yeah. you were too openly, you know? There's no way that... That's what I told Brian. I was like, yeah, I didn't know I was lying. I was like, I just, just by the way, I came across and he's like, why do you even say it was you? I was like, because I just didn't want the key to be put on him. Because of the whole charge with fucking guys setting him up and stuff. I was like, they're already going to fucking be out for you for that shit. I don't know, I just... <laughs> Well, that's, I guess that's all they kept saying that it was coming back as, is that really, 
I mean, there might have been a lot of people that hated him, you know, and there was no doubt. I, well, I, I've talked, you know, Tavares sat there and I talked to a cop one night and, you know, uh, he sat there telling me that that guy was the biggest piece of crap and that, uh, you know, it, it was just only time before somebody got him and this and that. And it's like, uh, that's all well and fine. It just, the timing of it and everything else, it was like, you know, no matter how you slice it, it's going to point back to him. No matter how you slice it. I mean, you know, that was the first thing you guys said on the phone, is that you knew it was going to point back to you guys. You know, because of, you know, how it was. What did he, you know, two weeks or something like, no. That week or something, he, he heard him on tape. I mean, give me a break. He's not He's not being a fucking they real bright the day before he heard him. Well, I, I just, I remember him saying that week that he had gone into his lawyer, but I mean, he's not, he's not Hold being, on, look well, it's not, a, it's not a bright thing. Fucking me like this. I was like, dude, I fucking hung out with the guy every fucking day. I was like, it was my job. I mean, really, do you think I enjoyed losing my job, losing my place to stay? Because I couldn't afford it no more because the guy was dead. You think I want to kill somebody and lose everything? I mean, come on. That was all I had. Well. The only thing that kind of, when all of this started going on, the only thing that we didn't like was when you were coming over the house and your the way your moods were. You know, we figured that there was something that was really bothering you. It had to do with Brian. One minute fucking Brian was sweet. Next minute Brian was a dick. The next minute Brian treated me like shit. And then it was all happy go lucky Brian. That's what was my problem. Well, I did not know that uh, my husband was seriously in love with me and I was getting engaged with somebody who I did not know loved me or not. That was my problem. I'm in love with somebody that does not love me. There's nothing to do with this shit. The shit that the day wow. the guy died is the day I said it. I knew something was going to happen. I took him on the teenager and he almost got his head shot in. Well, but like I said, I don't doubt that. From what everybody says so about I the fucking guy, he's a big deal. Big deal about this. I knew I should have went and asked questions right away just to figure this shit out because it's, I did not think this was going to come back on me. But it'll be a while before I be on this motherfucker. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to, what to say about it. I know that, you know, however it is, it, you're gonna have to just be, even if it's only to the point of, uh, I don't know, what you, what you know about that night. It just about, it doesn't matter that you had to be, not be there, actually, but him not being home or whatever. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, you can look at me any way you want, but I'm sitting on the other side, Ashley, sitting there having to, you know, believe it or not, go through this every day, too, and wondering what the hell's going to go on. You know, it's not easy. Dad, expect the worst. That's all I can tell you. Expect the worst. Let it in because of it. I'm sorry, but this is how it's going to end. Once they got you, Dad, there is no letting it go. Uh, this is why I already freaked out inside the jail cell and already knew it and accepted the fact. This is it. There is no, I mean, Casey Anthony, I don't know how the fuck she got to let go. But look, she waited three years for that. That's the only thing yeah, I well, that's, to is, okay, three years from now, maybe something will happen. Well, that was her attorneys that did that, and they would have done it another five years if they could have, but they stopped. I don't have an attorney. Well, That's not a bad thing. You guys accept it. I tell mom, I said I love her, but this is it. I'm sorry. I never got meant to get mixed up in this shit. I didn't think this would go down like this. I really didn't, but I did not kill that guy. I did not have nothing to do with it. No knowledge. I'm, I'm dad, that's my dad. I'm telling you this. I know you don't believe me because... No, I, I, it's not that I don't believe you. I, it's and not. before that I did it and stuff because it was just me being in love with Brian and not wanting you to hate Brian, but... Ashley, that's... Believe it or not, that's exactly... And I had already kind of gone over the deep end on him. Just be, you know, it was everything. It was, a, it, And it wasn't just that. I didn't like the night that he sat there and said that to me outside the bondsman's office. I didn't like it. But I thought that guy was not going to ever make it to court. Just absolutely no way, no how. Guy was making it to court, and he said the guy already. 
He was high as a fucking kite. Yeah. He probably doesn't remember even saying I know, it. But I introduced myself to Bob, himself to Bob, and like five times to Bob. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I thought by the end of the conversation, I, I had uh, convinced them how stupid of an idea it was, you know. And when I found out about the, the robberies and everything else, you know, and I mean, I brought it up to you guys that night. I never knew about that. I mean, when you guys, when you first introduced me, my first thing was, is, oh, my God, she's finally got one that's clean cut, looks, you know, like he's got his head on his shoulders and everything else. You know, I mean, it had been a, it'd been a long while for that. The guy robs seven banks in a year. It takes kind of smartest guy. Well, I, you know, that's actually the, I, I give it to the guy on that, but I mean, he's obviously, you know, and I can understand him being pissed off. What got him in the situation? You know, there was no need of it, but I mean, let's be real. I, you know, I mean, guys willing to go in and, and supposedly have the thing taped at his lawyer's. You know, because that, that's what he said that night, and that's what you guys kept talking about. But um, he supposedly wanted to go in and have it taped and everything else, so why would you even think any further than that? You know, if he's going to go in and... and uh, go on. Him up. We watched the tape. He didn't want a guy to testify against him. That's what he just kept saying. He's like, I don't, he can't testify against me. He can't testify against me. And I'm like, maybe he won't show up. Uh, that's what I kept trying to do. I said, why don't you just send him out of town? If he doesn't show up, then, you know, then it's fine. You kill them, they're just going to read everything into it, you know. And like I said, uh, you know, I was going between, you know, you could see how high he was and that other fucking kid stumbling around. He was uh, he was something. That, yeah, he just kept telling me how he could, uh, he knows my, my paper route. He could do it with no problem. Too bad he's going away. He could do it. And I'm going, yeah, just go that way, you know. And then, then I had, you know, guy pulling up, and I'm like, what the hell? And I'm turning around, and the cops are chasing Brian down the street, and I'm saying, you know, and I, I'm feeling bad because I feel... What do you mean they're chasing Brian down the street? You don't remember coming out of jail when the cops had him pulled oh, over? Yeah. Well, as soon as he pulled out of there, they came flying out from across... I never knew they were there, but they were sitting across the street watching us. And, it's, and he... Uh, as soon as he pulled out to go that way, all of a sudden, I, I, all you could hear, you know, when they stomp on it, you heard that, and I looked up, and it was uh, a sheriff's truck, I don't know, I think it was a sheriff's truck coming flying by, it was a truck, and I was like, holy shit, and uh, two seconds after that, a guy pulls up, and I'm going, he's going, well, what's going on, and Ashley's calling me to pick me up, or pick her up, or where is everybody to pick her up, is it? I said, Brian just went down there, but the cops followed him. And he wanted to come down. I'm going, no, you stay here. I'll go see what's what and, and come back, you know. And he's like, and I get back up there to wait, and he's sitting there telling me, you know, all the crap about Brian. And he didn't say anything about the the pills, but he was just, oh, yeah, he's a bank robber. He's this, he's that. I'm going, no, it can't be because, you know, and the guy was an idiot. He, this guy like, was in jail for like 13 times for grand arson. Well, he, uh, what the hell? Did he, he was arguing with me on where you were born. Yeah. He insisted that it was New York. I said, uh, I said, listen, yeah, I said, it was New Hampshire. I know. I raised her. You know, she was next to me the whole time. I said, uh, you know, don't be an idiot. It was, oh, no, no, no. I'm telling you, it was New York. I've seen it on her, one of her uh, arrest things. I said, yeah. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but one of them says New York. Yeah? Yeah. One of the first ones you ever, it said uh, home state New York or something like that. I'm going. Like Homestead? It, it just, it, birthplace is what it is. Birthplace, and it says New York, and I'm going, where the hell did they come up with that? So when he said it, it didn't. Does it really say that? Yeah, only on one of them. The rest of them says New Hampshire. But, you know, I was like, where the hell did he come up with? You know, it, I guess I kind of knew because it was on there, but it was like. We're really depressed. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be stuck in jail or nothing. I can deal with this. For some reason, I can deal with this. Well, I mean. I will make sure that you get stuff in here. I will. 
I know it, I can walk out and put something in today, Ash, but I don't know if it's even doing you any good because I don't know how long you're here. Yeah, but if I leave tomorrow or if I leave today, it will be extra done with me. They will give you the money? Yeah. All right. I'll see what I've got on me, and uh, if not, I will. I've got like two hundred dollars in quarters. Like any way you can see, Brian, just to get a, I, I wanted to send you guys up there to see him, but I don't know how you can get a hold of him to where you can tell I, him. To honestly, I, presentation. I don't. I have no clue. I don't know how they work, and uh, I don't know what's what's what and where's how you. Oh, when I go to first appearance tomorrow, I think I'll be able to use the phones. I'll give you a number. I kind of really, really wonder want you to go talk to Brian. I kind of want to see what he has to say. You think he's going to say anything to me? I don't know. I don't, I, when you said the whole dog thing was a setup, I called his mom and I was like, you know, they just called me telling me they called you. And she said that she talked to them and she's going to get the dog. So if that was all a setup. The mom told me she had to go down and get the dog because he did get arrested. He did. Oh, well, I know he got arrested. So, I, you know, they didn't say anything about it being a setup, but I know, I mean, let's be real. They were looking for you, too. I mean, it was both had a warrant out for you. Um, and if they're calling you to go there, it seems pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. You know. Uh, the dog can't fucking come here. I'm not going to get the dog. <laughs> and what did his what did his mom have to say? She didn't. She just said it was a new felony charge that the judge, judge just signed. Look him up. He's not even on fucking. Uh, I tried. I I couldn't. Well, mom tried. She couldn't find uh, anything on on Lake County on uh, Orange County. That's what his mom said. Cause I was talking to his mom this morning. I was talking to you guys. No, I don't. Uh, mom was able to pull yours right up. Yeah. And it and it just weird. Well. I don't know. I mean, this place is weird anyway. I mean, they did stuff a while back where they tried to do things quicker so you could see it. But And, and all it says on there is that you're just being held on a warrant from a, a different area. That's it. It doesn't say any... And when they talked to me, all they said was, you know, like I said, they told me that... Um, it was more like a fishing expedition on your side, trying to find out what was what. And then it, um, they said you didn't have much to say. And then they... Why are they letting me go? Because they've already filed it. More that I am getting charged. You can stop saying that they're just trying to find out information. You can stop believing that. Well, actually, I, without a doubt, I realize that you're getting charged. But I do realize that... Um, I have no they're, out their biggest, their biggest thing, isn't you. Their biggest thing is him. They're, you know, when I talked to the female cop, well, when I was sitting there talking, and, and um, the female cop would start talking to me, you know, I, I got more of the impression that um, she kind of, you know, felt bad for you in a way, you know. And it, I don't know, it's almost like, I don't know if it's a female thing that, you know, you can see where you get hooked into a guy and then, you know, you try and go too far, you know, protecting and everything else or, or you do too much for him, you know, and whatever the circumstance is, whether it's... Like, said, like you were scared and you got told to do something you didn't want to do. I was like, nobody's going to fucking tell me, especially something like that. Come murder somebody with me, what? But, you know, it's not even the, the, the way I look at it, it, it isn't even the, the act of anything happened. I think that, you know, half of it is, is the point of, um, you know, they feel that, they feel that you know more than, yeah. than what you're saying. Yeah. And that's what they're looking for. That, that's the biggest part of what they're looking that's for. That's what they're going to get. So they can give up. If they come and visit me again, I'm going to turn it down. That's pretty much all I got then. I would love to be able to get the fuck home. I would love to be able to put it on Ryan, and I'm not going to. So, I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to, if he's not doing it. Nobody wants you to lie, Ash. I mean, that isn't going to do anything any good. You know, I, that's that's just craziness. Oh. Y'all can accept this fact. I'm sorry. Don't tell Craig. Don't tell anybody up north. Mama's going to it, didn't she? She already did, didn't she? 
Well, I guess she's had a talk with uh, her mother. Uh, Didn't say why, just said that you were in jail and you're going to probably be here for a little while. Didn't, uh, you know, go into any details on anything, just, you know, that was about well, it. If one bitch can get away from murdering her kids, then maybe I can get out of this church. How are you? Uh, well, how's your heart? They told me that uh, you mentioned that you might be uh, going through withdrawals in here. Yeah. How are you doing? Like shit. I really want to go later. I almost refused this. So they told me it was you. I'm not really going. I thought it was those damn fucking detectives again. I'm like, I don't want to refuse that shit. Don't make it your dad. I'm like, oh. My back's healing me. But I could have, like, really talked to my boss. My boss would have probably paid for a lawyer for me. Oh, yeah, I take care of horses. I know. Uh -huh. well, we've gone. You told me, you know, you've talked about it. When did she finally came back this week? Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know. I thought we kept never coming over when you said you were going to. When did I say I was going to? Tampa? I don't know. It, 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 <laughs> to, be, to be honest? The whole thing with everything is it when it, it was like every time you called me, Ash, it was money. That's what it was. It wasn't talking to me or anything else. It was money, 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 money. I'm not talking to you on the phone. I want to talk to you today. I want to talk to you on the I understand that, but the reasoning was never to sit there and talk to me. The reason was sit there for money. And it was like, you know. I don't know. Give me a break. It's like, you know, I can't sit there and I, you know, I wish I had a million dollars that I could just throw in a bank account. You could just do what you needed to do, but I don't have that. And it's, and it's like, no matter how it was sliced, it was like, it was a never ending thing. And yeah, but as you turn around and ask me, and I told you that I would do it on some, then and I then I don't hear from you for three or four days, and then you don't. Fuck you, because that's exactly what I knew you were gonna feel. If I would have called you and be like, Dad, I need that money, you would have been like, No, Jesus Christ, Ashley, yeah, I just didn't want to. Well, I, I and in all honesty, that to give it to me, he would have remembered, and he just Well, I I did remember, but I didn't. You know, Sunday I I pick up all my money, and I didn't believe me. I was. By the time I finished that, I'm in no fucking mood to go riding around anywhere. I had no issue. I, I had the money sitting there every Sunday. I had no issue if you stopped by to grab it. But then it was just like, you know, just like a non-stop ending thing. I looked at it as, you know, I don't want to bubble, so that's why I went another week without it. I think I'll just fucking struggle to that. And then I really came down to needing it. I asked you again, and that's when you said you were in Tampa. And that's when... Well, I was. I mean, that's... And we, I've got Tampa again tomorrow. For both of them, and uh, the way that's going is that we're going to end up uh, having tying them up in the backyard and leaving them there for a couple of weeks. Uh, Kyle off all his ADHD meds. Honestly, I think the only reason why I got a call today was just because I'm a father and they just wanted to, and, and I'll be honest with you, and I think I told you before that I had a fear for you, you know, because if anything... I really felt like that you sent me out. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I really did. I didn't. I didn't set you up, Ash. Honest to God, I didn't. And... I've been, I, you know, I guess whatever's whatever. I'll but. I'll in touch with you guys. I'll call you. Well, if there's money back out, I'll call you guys to see what's going on. Okay. I don't want to forget about you guys, and then you guys are going to be the only reason why I'm going to do all this, but. Sorry, I did not expect this all to go this way. Alright. I made the wrong choice and stuff. You know, he seemed like such a good kid. And didn't really seem like it'd be a problem like this. And now look. 
Mm-hmm. You know, when I first met him, Ash, he wasn't that mocus every time. You know, and as time went on, I mean, they, they, it was there wasn't a time where he wasn't totally looped until the last time you showed up at the house. That's the first time I've seen him straight since the first time I met him. You know what I mean? He just, every single solitary time. And, you know, you know the freaking things that grab you by your soul. You know, you're not going to, I mean, you got to be honest. I, you know, you've seen it. You know, whether people are thinking straight or not. Four years. Yeah, well, any time he's ever been in before, didn't he take them with him? And they, because I, I thought, well, I thought they would have to do something because he's been all. If if you bring, really, because I thought if you, uh, well, I, uh, for one thing, it's like that day, huh? They can, they'll give me hydrocodone here. That's well, uh, that day that he got arrested here. I th- he brought them with him, didn't he? He brought some. Well, that's how you... He gave out 10 of them. Oh, because that's... Uh, I thought that's how you got nailed with driving. No. I got nailed with driving because I just pulled up into the... I called and see him getting out, and I pulled up into the little driveway part where they pull you in. Yeah, but earlier him. that day, you said you went up there with his pill bottles because he had some in his pocket. Yeah, he did. And he's trying to get away with it. Oh. I don't know. I was just under the impression right. that is lying. Well, what time did you in here? Oh, I don't know. I got here just probably after seven, five past or something. And uh, it was kind of weird because I went up to do the regular thing and then they told me to come back downstairs and sit. And I was like, what the hell is that? Um, <coughs> the... Uh, I thought, yeah. Anyways, I thought as long as you had your prescription, they, they were going to come back and talk to me. I, they, I believe they're waiting until you get down there. They just felt that, you know, maybe in a little while that you'd be more receptive to talking. But there's not much I can say, Dad. I really can't. I really wish I could because it's the point where I do not want to go down to nobody, but. Like I said, Ash, you know, it might be something small. Maybe you'll think of, you know, it'll be something small that will make sense. That, you know, if will be. If somebody that says they saw me at that crime scene, that I'm not going nowhere. Sorry. That's probably cause to arrest me for murder. Well, I, I understand. Yeah, Even if it's not, like if it's me. not, it's probable cause for the arson because they said that, you know, it was when you were, it was... They said that you ran, you and him had run from it, and right at that point, you could see the flames. So it was like an instantaneous thing that they saw people running, and at the same time, um, they could see the flames kicking up in the house, is what they were saying. How does that put into me? Well, it really is. It, my, under, it, my like, understanding. I, out, I mean, that's just like the, the most worst. My understanding on what they, how they said it to me was, is that when they were going through questioning, they said they've questioned a ton of people, and a lot of them was just from around there. You guys told me that they pulled the uh, taxi driver in, um, but the people around there that said they saw people leaving, they had mentioned that it was a male and female. When Brian's name came up, they kept going through and tied you to Brian. So I don't know how, you know, and. Everybody knows like Brian, right? Yeah. Well, they tied you to Brian and, and they started showing pictures and that's, I mean, I, I, uh, I told you they showed me Brian's lineup, and uh, it was kind of weird. It was an old one, but I mean they they had it sitting right there. Yeah, they had it sitting right there, so they didn't say anything about you. They said that they would like to talk to you. They knew your name, you know. They'd like to talk to you on it, but they never mentioned that. Um, anything about that? I mean, today is when they sat there and told me that they. 
had uh, people that identified you guys leaving. You know, they've been pretty, in all honesty, they've been pretty tight-lipped with me on anything going on. And, and that's been one of my things is just trying to, to fish to see what's what. And, you know, I met them at Chick-fil-A for, I don't know, maybe five minutes. And uh, they just sat there and told me that you didn't uh, say anything, that you felt you were going to end up being sick. They pretty much... they. <laughs> Well, because of the because of the withdrawals, no, they just. I said I had to leave because I was going to be sick. No, I didn't say that you had to leave. I just, you know, they just they did like a, a small oversight on what you guys had said that you had mentioned something about uh, going through the withdrawals in here. Um, Trust me, I'd love to get the fuck out of here. <sighs> and then they pretty much said that uh, that was one of your big questions. If you know, if you talked, would you be getting out or something to that effect? And they said at this point they weren't going to lie that you were being held. And they were that in it, but I was fucked. I'm just telling you how they put it to me. That you don't know that this good cop, bad cop deals, just like fucking TV. Just fucking like it. Jesus, I'm like, bullshit. You got something on me saying that I'm not that scene. There ain't nothing I can fucking do anymore. I'm fucked. Probably because I found love with a fucking idiot. All right. Well, I'm going to lay down. I'm sorry, Dad. I feel like shit. All right. All you guys. Hit your button because that's the only way I can get out, too. I'll call you back as soon as. They can't take it out. Yeah, this fucking picture looks weird, doesn't it? I didn't even see uh, it. I don't want to see it. I look like I've been on fucking crack for so days. I don't even weigh that much. I don't look that skinny like that. Well, so, you don't look that skinny in that thing. <laughs> that orange thing. That is dead. I weigh 140 right now. This thing looks like I weigh about 120. Oh, wow. Yeah, that doesn't even look like me. Mom had just went on and said she, she pulled up yours just to see what it was saying. And um, it just said you were being held on that other thing. And that was that. So, are we getting charged with murder and grit arson? Oh, I don't know. They didn't really. The guy this morning mentioned arson. The the sheriff mentions the arson, but all he said was, like I told you, Brian. They were looking for Brian, or they uh, they had a warrant for him for capital murder, but they were looking for you to talk. That's what they that's what they told me at the door. They were looking for you to talk. They had a warrant for Brian for capital murder. Um, and they said that he went in and shot somebody in the head and burnt his body. That's what they said to me. That's why, you know, and then when they told me that. Huh? I only thought he got burnt. He said that he got being shot in the head. I just heard a story of him being burned. That's. Yeah. That's what they said that he went in and shot him in the head and burnt him. Well, they had told me that that's the that's the only thing, and I have to wait because that thing's locked. I tried to go to the bathroom, and I had to. This one isn't, but that one is. I tried. To, I tried it the first time, and I had to wait for the guy to come back in here to let me out, so I could go use the bathroom and come back. Fucking, I want to get a haircut this day, and this fucking lady cut my hair so short. And she cut the whole top of it real short, so it like puffs up and pissed. What'd you do? Get paid yesterday? What bank is your stuff in? Fifth Third. Fifth Third. I love that. Why? Just a weird name. I know. It's the boss. I see him all the time when I go up through Ocala, and it's like, uh, you know, that's kind of a really off. No, what the hell is the? Where the hell did they come up with a fifth third? Oh, no. Oh, Freezing. 
Who's the guy with the tattoo? Is that a new one? On the arm? What is that one? When did you have that done? He's got to spend. How long did Melissa end up with? you just go in there, they give you a, a public defender. If you have an attorney when you start and then you go broke because you're in jail and you can't, you know, they can go file. You know, if they want to keep the case, they can go file uh, for the state to start paying their fees. And uh, that's that's how Casey, that was a big thing, you know, but she had paid him hundreds of thousands of dollars out of the picture she sold and everything. And then they said, well, all that money's gone and we need money. Yeah, every, all the news agencies and stuff wanted pictures of the baby. So she was selling all the family pictures and stuff like that. They asked me if I wanted to be questioned by news and media and stuff. I said no. I don't want to be on fucking TV. No, they said it was a whole a high profile case, and I'm going, well, I haven't it's seen anything crazy. about it. Well, it's not. I think it's more that. Um, with all the crap that's going on up in that area lately that it's starting to make, if it was just that one, but with the, the cop shooting and um, there was another guy that got stabbed or something, I think, I think it's just the area is warranting. Plus, you've got uh, that thing that just happened in Mount Dora with, you know, not that it's a murder or anything, but the Jewish center, so it, it brings... I guess they painted some graffiti, and they, they're some Jewish... Priest is went to open up a church in downtown Dora, and he's paying all of his money to get it swapped over. And uh, it's just kind of somebody went in and did it, so half the half the area went and cleaned it, you know, wiped everything off of it and stuff. But I guess there was news media all over the place, and you know, every time you turn around, there's a there's a robbery somewhere and. One of my sto one of my stores the other night, right after right after the papers got or while the papers got dropped off, the alarm started going off. And uh, I love you, baby. You take it easy, okay? Okay. Love you. Bye.
this concludes the uh, the statement. The time is 8.11 p.m. Being an informant, a state witness in drug cases, is dangerous. Guy was involved in an undercover drug deal that could have landed Brian in jail for drug dealing. The two plotted against Guy. Thankfully, justice was served in the case. Ashley is serving a life sentence at a Florida prison, and Brian is serving a 25-year sentence. He is due to be released on December of 2036.